Hi, this is Ross Randall with the Technology Department. I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes uh, showing you how to enter tickets in the new support portal. This uh, is different than what we've done in the past as you will no longer need to call the helpline or send an email to open a ticket. You will be able to put your own tickets in and you will be able to track the progress of those tickets. So this is really simple and we're going to go through it uh, step by step. The first thing you will do when you go to the help.lamarcountyschools.org site is log in. This system is tied into our Google Apps domain, so all you will need to do is allow access to this site from this site to your Google Apps account. If you're already logged into your uh, Google email in your browser, then you will just be uh, prompted to accept. If you are not, you will first be prompted to log in. So I'm going to click log in, and you'll see that your options here or to sign in with your email and password, but what we're doing is linking it to our Google accounts. So you're gonna click uh, sign in with Google, and you're gonna put in your email address. And then you're gonna be prompted to accept the link between the help desk and your Google app site. So click accept. And as soon as you do that, you will be logged into your support portal. Here you'll be able to see all of the tickets that you have open, uh, and also you'll be able to create new tickets. So we're going to create a new ticket. So click the blue button that says New Ticket. You're going to put in as much information as you can. That'll be very helpful to the technician. So I'm going to put in some information in here. Since my projector will not come on, I'm going to put in that my projector will not come on, and I'm going to put a little bit of information in the description. This should be as much information as you can. As you can see here, I have let the technician know that uh, the projector will not turn on, and then I've made sure that it's plugged in, and, and then I'll let them know that the light is blinking red, and I also let them know that I have unplugged it and plugged it back in. So then the next thing I'm going to do is, is select my site. I'm located at the central office, and then my priority, I can change this if I like, but I'm still leaving it at normal. My room and location, this will be your room number or your location. You may be in the counseling center, you may be in the uh, library, and I'm in the technology the building. You also can put your room number. And then the phone number. This is the number that where the technician can uh, get in touch with you if needed. Uh, preferably it will be your extension, but you can put your phone number in there if you want to. I'm going to put in my um, my phone number and then the problem device uh, obviously since this is my projector I'm gonna select it is my projector your other options may be your uh, computer we put uh, Apple computer and Windows computer because that just helps us be able to identify maybe where the problem area um, is uh, particular to you um, I'm gonna select projector if I wanted to send this uh, copy of this ticket to someone else uh, I have the options to do that it's not necessary uh, I can also attach files. If I have a screenshot of something that was on my computer that I think would be helpful for the technician, I can uh, attach that file uh, to this ticket. And then I'm going to create the ticket. At this point, you will uh, be alerted uh, via email that you have submitted a ticket. You will also be able to track that ticket uh, through your email. You will get emails as the ticket is updated. Um, and uh, you can go back and you can add information in here. If there's something you think the technician needs to know uh, after you put the ticket in, you can update the, the ticket with additional information. Very, uh, very helpful. Then I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to open that ticket and I'm going to show you what it looks like when we close it. So I have been assigned this ticket and my response to this ticket is going to be um, I change the bulb. and it's working now. And then I'm going to change the status to solved. All of our tickets will be um, when we have completed uh, then uh, everything that we think we need to do then we will solve the ticket and you will uh, you will see that. So I'm going to solve it. And then if I go back here and refresh this or go back and look at my open tickets you see how the status now has changed to solved. You'll also receive an email letting you know that it's solved. At this point, you will uh, need to go in, review the comments on your ticket. Uh, you can see here I put, I changed the bulb. 
if for some reason you don't understand what the technician did or you need more information or or you believe that what they did did not fix your problem you can add a message and then click the green button add a message that will keep the ticket open and it will send an email to the technician letting them know that that uh, that you need either you need additional information or maybe the problem was not actually solved if the problem is solved then at this point you will want to close the ticket when you close the ticket you'll be prompted to rate the service that you received so I'm going to close the ticket at this point there are five options unsatisfied below average works for me well done and great job we want you to to use these to let us know uh, how the service was you can also leave a message before you click this to, if you want to have additional information in with your rating I'm going to click a rating and at that point the ticket is closed you can always go back and look at your closed tickets here and you can review the information that was in there and then if I go back to my open tickets right now I do not have any that is how you put a new ticket in uh, again all of these uh, um, will be tracked in your email so you'll be receiving emails when you open a ticket and when a technician um, has questions about your ticket and when your uh, when your ticket is solved we hope this uh, is helpful and speeds up the process of, of getting work orders put in and also uh, it's going to be really nice for us to be able to receive feedback from you uh, to let us know how, what kind of job we're doing. Thank you.